Hello, my marvelous muses. How we doing tonight, guys? So, in the video earlier, I asked what people wanted me to make. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to wait for the responses, but I'm gonna. Most of the responses that I got, or several that I got, uh, there were a couple for the skulls, uh, one for the little Frenchie, but there were like three or four for the mushroom. So what I want to do is I'm going to do this mushroom. I've got him flipped the wrong side out right now. What I want to do is I'm going to brush some mica powder on here. But I'm going to leave these little windows clear. And uh, maybe this part of the door right here. And then I'm going to pour clear resin in here. Or like translucent resin. I might tint it slightly. Maybe like a amber color and I want to be able to put I have the little battery operated tea lights from Dollar Tree I want to put one of those inside of it up here there's these little bitty dots you can see them on the outside better here there's these dots here there's like four of them I'm gonna color those in with mica powder but then I'm gonna glitterify and clear resin in there so we're gonna make make it all sparkly and pretty so, the colors I think I'm going to use for the house itself. I don't want to do traditional colors. I thought about brown. I thought I'd do a little brown mushroom. And I thought, no, that's not fun. I want to do something different. So, I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to do purple glitter in the top. So, I think I'm going to use a purple to dust it with. So we're going to do purple mica powder and maybe like around these here I might try to do because this isn't the right type of silicone for my I already know my little um, <clears throat> acrylic markers won't work on this because this is the slick silicone so they won't work on it so I may actually try to take a little bit of black mica and brush it here uh, we'll see how that works. And then, I think these are supposed to be like little plants here or something. Kind of looks like it. But yeah, we're going to do, so we're going to do the whole thing here. I'm going to brush it in this purple mica powder. This is a hard freaking color to read. Purple something, I don't know. It's so hard to read that color. I'm like, I don't know why they make that. Whoever made these mica powders, a company, I don't have the box anymore for them. Cheap art. I don't know if you can see this or not, but can you see? The name is on here, but the name is so hard to read on these. It's just almost impossible. And I like them. The mica powders are not right mica powders, but they're just, it drives me cuckoo. So, I think we're going to do purple on the mica powder here. Alright. So, we're going to start on the back here. Pretty purple mica powder here. my new Dollar Tree brush. This brush is so nice. Okay, so let's pour this in here. So we're going to make this a little bit translucent. I don't want it to be completely translucent here. But like I said, I want to be able to see through the windows. I want to be able to see my light shining through the windows here. I thought that would be fun. light up our little mushroom house light our little mushroom house up I'll stick 
my hand in here. It'd be a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier here just to spin it around. Okay, we're going to move that out of the way here for a minute. Wiping some of this mica powder up off of here. Oh, okay. So we're getting around here. So now, I think, I'm pretty sure this needs to be green. Okay, well, I guess I can be whatever color I want it to be. Oh, I want to... What color do I want to do the outside of the door? Alright, so we're going to do green around the bottom here. I don't know if that's supposed to be rocks or if that's supposed to be grass. I kind of feel like it should be like grass. Because it's a mushroom, it's sitting in the grass, right? Alright. Do this green. There we go. Oh, those look like little bitty mushrooms down along the bottom there. Michael Potter everywhere, guys. That's where I sparkle all the time. Between Michael Potter and glitter, doesn't matter. I take a shower and it doesn't come off. <laughs> it's like I still have glitter on me. It's like, how? How? How do I have glitter still? How do I have glitter still, guys? I don't get it. All right. So I think we're going to do this red gold around the door. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. I have a smaller brush right here. Actually, I have a couple smaller brushes. Let me see which one I want to use. There we go.
So I'm going to set that there for just a minute. And what color do I want to do at the top? So if I'm going to do purple at the top, I think I want the gold in here. So I'm going to do the purple glitter. So I'm going to turn this wrong side out while we dust this. I'm going to use that new pretty purple glitter we got. That beautiful sparkly glitter. That is the... Oh, that's a window. Okay. I was like, what is that? Doing our dots in gold. So I think I will do my, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow night. We won't do like a long video because it's only, there's only about six items that I got. So we will just add it on to this video here. My little outdoor Timu haul. Of my lights and stuff that I got. down in here. I believe it's the chimney. Alright. So now I'm going to get a baby wipe here. We're going to wipe off some of this number one off my table. <laughs> off my leveling tray. this little window out here in the center there and we're gonna take off this excess around here Alright, so we got that there. Let me see where there's a little bit in this one. Ah, here we go. Alright, we're going to flip it back right around. Alright. We got that ready now. And I just realized I didn't brush the bottom of this. <laughs> I did not brush the bottom. I want to do the bottom in purple, or? Hmm. Do I want to do some of this new silver, this new foil stuff I got? Let me try. 
try some of this. Let me just give it a there we go. Let's see what colors we want to do. Uh, kind of like that. See what we get here. Nope. nope, didn't stay. All right, we're not gonna do that thing because <laughs> I don't want to mess with it right now. I know there's a way to make it stick, but we're just gonna do purple then. I'm going to do purple on the bottom. Since we haven't done the windows yet here. Like I said, I realized I hadn't done this yet. I was like, oh, wait a minute. All right. I'm going to wipe this off again. All right. Now we are going to wipe the little windows here. We're going to make this little window here on the door, this part of the door, clear. And then afterwards, we will come back in with black marker and outline these windows. What do you think, guys? Alright, so here we go. Let's turn it right side out now. Alright, what do we think? What do we think, guys? Think it's going to work out? You can be able to see my light through it? I hope so. I hope so. Alright. Put you guys on a pause. I'll mix up some resin here. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So I mixed up some resin here. I've got quite a bit of resin mixed up. And I'm going to pour some of it in a different cup. Because in the bottom, I want to tend it kind of a gold. So that way if the lights shine up, they kind of show up an amber color. But then up here in the top, we're going to glorify it. So, we're going to set this over here. I'm going to get out my gold. I got gold alcohol ink, so I'm going to make it still very translucent. I don't want it to be very pigmented. So, that's why I'm using the alcohol ink. Just so it has a gold hint to it. Just a hint of gold here. I don't want much. Alright. I may not have enough. I may have to use a bit of my other hair. Yep. I'm 
a bit more of this. Alright. Hopefully I have enough now for the top. If not, I'll mix some more up. I don't need much. I shouldn't have made shouldn't even have put that much in here, actually. It's alright. Well, that might be enough. I think that's going to be perfect, All right? Just like that. So, I'm going to move this out of the way just a little. I want you guys to see this beautiful glitter when we mix it. So, I have this is that purple glitter that I got the other day that somebody sent me from my Amazon wish list. And then I have the purple chunky glitter so we're gonna mix both of those in here all right let me pour a good chunk in there oh look at the glitter look at the glitter Oh, isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can turn my gloves on here. I can turn on my flashlight. <laughs> doesn't want my doesn't like my gloved finger. Come on. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Guys, we haven't even added the other end. I have a feeling this has got a cover on it. Nope. Well, yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, my word. Look at that sparkle. Look at the glitter. All right. We are overdosing on glitter tonight, guys. I don't even care. I'm just in love with these colors. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Alright. I wonder if I ought to pour this. There's just a tiny bit of this gold. I wonder if I ought to pour it back in here because it's kind of worried that I may not have enough. I really don't want to have to mix more resin. If I can avoid it. I know I should have filled the mold with water. But I know I, I poured over 8 ounces. I mean I made just slightly over 8 ounces of resin. Because I measured 4. And 4. But it ended up being 4.1. 4.1. So it was like 8.2. So just slightly over 8 ounces of resin. So if this fills it, then I know 8 ounces fills this mold. <laughs> and of course it's not full. And of course it's not full. Alright guys. I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to mix up another... I'm going to say another 3 ounces of resin, and we'll put some more glitter in it. So we'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I mixed up another 3 ounces of resin. Probably an ounce and a half too much, but that's alright. I 
let's find out if it's going to work out just about right. All right. It looks like everything is done. At least maybe not. Hang on. I do that? I was trying to stick it down in that little crevice down there, make sure I had it all in there. Alright, so I have a tiny, tiny bit here. Don't think I can fill that anymore on the bottom. What do we got? Oh, hey, what do we got there? Probably not enough, but we're gonna see. I'll just pour a little bitty school. And if it's not enough, we will Well, okay. I was gonna say if it's not enough, we will use it as a fill up mold, but it looks like it's gonna be enough. Time I scrape this and scrape the other one. getting a two for one. We're getting a baby skull. Okay, now I'm going to do something else. Now, let me get a piece of this here. And we're going to cut it. Come forward. There we go. All right. There we go. We're going to see what that looks like in there. If you can even see it from in there, but we'll see. Alright. Okay, we're going to see what happens here. We will be back tomorrow night for demolding. So just right here where you can see it. Alright, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything turns out okay. Oh, where's my spray? Let me get my alcohol here. Everything a quick spritz. There we go. Alright, guys, we'll be back tomorrow night. Bye. Hello, guys, we're back. So, um, I want to do a quick thank you and show what I got today. Uh, when you guys order something off of my Amazon wish list, I have it set so it's a surprise. So I don't know what's coming when. And I got an Amazon delivery today. And I got this amazing red mica powder. This is the same mica powder. If you saw Wendy on Team Fish Crafts, uh, it was back probably around Valentine's Day or just shortly around before that area maybe. And she did a test to see which was the best red true red looking mica powder 
And this was one of the brands that she had found out that was a really good one. And I saw it, and I've had it on my Amazon wish list for a while. So, it came today. I also got a box of Let's Resin Highly Concentrated Bright Color Pigments. Comes with bamboo toothpicks. Pretty cool. And it's really good. It's the Let's Resin Pigments. It's your standard color is red, blue, green, yellow, uh, orange, orange, red, purple, yellow. Beautiful colors, guys. These are gorgeous. This is a green, a dark green. See, I don't have a dark green in any of my colors. Uh, this is red, brown, blue, and orange. And there's a white in here somewhere. Maybe right here. There it is, white. And then I also got a box of gloves. Um, I had bought a box a while back. They were small. I mean, I am pretty tiny hands, but the small were so hard to get off and on. They were a struggle. But they fit nice. And I've had large, and the large fingertips hang off. These fit really good. They actually fit nicely. I don't have a whole lot of hang off on the end. And I can remove the gloves without it being a huge, huge struggle. They don't have a whole lot on the ends here hanging off. Pretty pretty easy to work with and uh, I want to say a thank you this came from uh, enjoy your gift from James Bain so James thank you so much I appreciate this got me some gloves now that fit right once again thank you very much uh, we're definitely gonna be putting this stuff to use and tonight is demolding, so we don't need the gloves tonight, but we will be using them for tomorrow night's video. Actually, tomorrow night's video is probably going to be my team move from out in the yard. Oh, I don't want that there. I want that with this. I'm excited to try this Let's Resin Pigment. I love this stuff. Alright. Again, thank you very much, James. Thank you to anybody who's bought me a coffee. Anybody who's bought anything off my Amazon wish list. If you bought anything off of Timu or the washi tape shop and you used my link to do it with. Thank you very much. You've done a super thanks. Um, any of that, I really appreciate it. Alright, are we ready to demold? So it was funny. Uh, I've made this video before. It was long, one long after uh, I did last night's video, the team we haul. I was like watching the comments to see what everybody was saying to do. And I was like, I'm just going to make this video. Most people at that point had said the mushroom. So quite a few people. There were a few that wanted the skull, a few that wanted uh, the dog, and... Uh, what was it? Oh, the bowl. Somebody wants the bowl with washi tape, which that's a brilliant idea. I'm definitely going to use some of that new washi tape in there. Uh, but a lot of people, this was a this was high up on everybody's list. So it was funny because I picked it after all, you know, because number one, it's adorable. Why wouldn't I? So we're going to see if we can loosen this up. I don't know how hard this is going to be to get off of here. See if I can get it pulled away enough. I've got my bottle of water here. Pull it out here. All right, let's see what we got here.
Fortunately, this is a mold that is fairly flexible. If you saw me do it last night, I bent it completely inside out to paint it, so it will not be super hard to get off. ready guys oh my god look at this okay let me get a paper towel I got water on it oh this is beautiful oh oops I'm bumping y'all around guys oh my gosh look at this I love it guys oh my goodness isn't that cute? So cute. Here, let me turn this flash on. Oh, come on. There we go. Isn't it pretty? So what I had mentioned was taking my black marker or my paint pen and going around the outside of the window here and this window. Which we may do here in a minute. Let's get the top out here. See what we got. We're going to do it the same way. We're going to kind of pull it off to the side here. Put some water down in it. How hard is this going to be? This ought to be so sparkly. So sparkly. We did glitter. All kinds of purple glitter. Fine purple glitter. Chunky purple glitter. And gold. Oh, look at that color. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that glitter. Wow, wow, wow. The gold. That's perfect. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh. Watch off all the water here. I got all over it. Oh my goodness. That is freaking cute, guys. Okay. That's too cute. I gotta do that mold again. Oh, there's so many things I could do with that mold. Oh my goodness. That was fun. Oh, we're going to light that up here in a minute, guys. I'm going to bring you down let you see it up close. Now, I had a little bit of leftover resin. So, I use that foil. I found out what I did wrong on the foil. Um, I have to have the adhesive to put down. And then you use the foil. Uh, I did order some of the adhesive. But it's coming in my next team order. I had realized it before. I guess after I ordered this, I realized I needed it. So I ordered it. But yeah, we're going to take this little guy out. If the big one demolds as easy as this, we will be perfect. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see down into the bottom? You can kind of see that pink paper down in there. He is so sparkly. Got a little bit of spillage here, and I got a little bit of the paper that's sticking out. There we go. Cute. Super cute. Oh my gosh. That is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love that. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to put my tea light in here and I'm going to bring you guys down and let you see it. Okay guys, so I have a little tea light in there right now. I'm going to turn this light off so you can kind of see it. Come on. Oh, let me turn off my flash. Hang on. It's one of those little tea lights. It's a Dollar Tree tea light. They change colors now. Did you know that? Dollar Tree tea light. 
They have the color changing ones. You can see it through the window and the door. Isn't it cute? Let me turn it so you can see it the windows. I have them sitting on, they come with these little stones inside there. So it is sitting up kind of high. Let me take the stones out. Hang on. Yeah, you can get the two pack or you can get a single pack and it has these little clear stones. There we go. So that looks more like it's in the window. Isn't they cute? There's the door. There's the other window. Looks like the little house is lit up inside. The windows are lit. Alright guys, well if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. We make really cool stuff. Here, we'll get a good up close shot here. This is our top. sparkle just blows my mind and then we have our little house super cute this is the tea light I was talking about it's from Dollar Tree and they come in this package and it's called LED tea light candle and you get the little these little clear crystals, which I saw them in the first thing I thought of is I can use them in a resin project. I was like, how cool are these, right? That was inside of a big skull. You know, I could see that happening. Oh. Um, but yeah, I, those come with it, but this is the little tea light. And it changes color. And I was like, how fun is that? So, alright guys, well, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Um, I want to hope everybody's resin cures beautifully. Hope you're happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I hope your craft projects turn out amazing. And I will see you guys tomorrow night in the video. Thank you. Bye.